long ago, the Dakota people, they had a, a government where all people, they were given tasks to do daily. They had ceremonies, they had tools and symbols, and they had a, 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 administra- a governance of what, uh, what uh, they can do. And they operated on three levels. One is the, what's called the political level. The other one was the natural laws, and the other one was the sacred laws. That's, that's what they operated on. And they learned that they had to use their heart, mind, body, and spirit in that order. And they chose, the, the whole community chose one spokesman, that its spokesman is to have things is to be a good protector, a good hunter, as a, as a family, and all those. So they chose one. But they also had a council, councilmen, who, who helped uh, Itancha look after the, the goings on in the, in the big camp. And the councilmen met with the Itancha almost uh, four times a year that they would meet. And they met according to the ceremonial times, like uh, March 21st, December 21st, uh, June 21st, those, those kinds of times they met. Or when there's a special need, if there was a visitor or, or some, they'll hold a, a special meeting. And uh, there was lots of other Meetings, of course, uh, meeting, meeting other nations, for instance, their neighboring nations and, and telling each other their governing ways so that they can understand one another. And they had lots of help. The people helped quite a bit when, in their, the way that they had meetings. And, uh, the annuals had a great hand in, in governance. I'll give you an example of how animals or the winged or, or medicines or people helped in, in governing. Uh, Everybody had a job to do in the camp, even the young ones, the youth. And, uh, there are rules and regulations, laws that they had to follow. And, uh, for one example would be the young people. Whenever there's a gathering and there's a feast, the young people would do the serving. They, they would, they still had their, 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 their good spirit. They still are holy and, uh, they, they have a good heart. And so they, they, they asked the young, the youth to, to serve the, the feast. And, uh, in terms of animals, you know, uh, Lots of people in that camp, they do ceremonies. And most of the ceremonial people, they had uh, helpers, spirit helpers, they call them. Uh, for instance, somebody had a ceremony and he had a, a coyote to help them or an elk to help them. Same with the things that have wings. Somebody would have a help of the eagle hawk for instance, or the magpie, or the eagle, they'll come and help, and they'll give direction and information after they finish the ceremony. He'll go and tell the people, this is the ceremony that I had. The other part of the helping that they got was the the medicines that they used to keep healthy. Those are all, they're done together. Mitakwe was, they say, my, all my relations, all my relatives. And, uh, they, they continued to use that because that, that, uh, law came from the holy people, creator and, and our ancestors. And so that's how they used for governing things. They, everybody had a hand in governing. And, uh, one of the things that I'd like to say at this point was, uh, if 
if the people in the community, if they see that something is not right, that they would uh, bring it to the attention of the councilman and uh, Itancha, the, the leader, the spokesman. And uh, they would decide if, if this is an issue. Is it an individual issue, a family issue, or a community issue? And then they would de decide together how they're going to fix that issue. And then they, they go ahead and have a discussion. And then they come to an agreement. All of those councilmen and they touch and come to an agreement. This is how we're going to fix it. And when they do make a decision, they put action. Somebody puts an action or stuff. So people put an action. And what happens is when they make a decision, it's always for the good of the whole community. And so that's how the governing structure was at that time. The other thing that they done was uh, when they picked an Intancha a spokesperson, a one who who carries the message. Uh, that person is chosen by people observing uh, what this person is doing. The person helps. The person is a good hunter. The person has a family and he's always doing good. And, and he speaks well. He's, uh, he's, uh, what I call a, a, a person of good character, and uh, he carries on the culture and the traditions of uh, the people. He protects the people, and so those are the things that that makes a good uh, itancha, and that's how they used to govern. There was uh, it. It was going along pretty good until there was a kind of an interruption, an objection of the way things were run. And uh, when the settlers came, they disrupted the whole they the, the whole system was was uh, disrupted. Not only that, they pushed it aside and put their own kind of government in and it threw our people off uh, quite a bit.